We captured George in 2016, you know, almost 10 years into our journey. Oh, he's on it, he's on it right there. Yeah. Oftentimes we see a lot more females than males when we do this shark work. George was a huge shark because he was the first mature male tagged in the Northwest Atlantic. Looks like it could be our first, you know, male North Atlantic white shark in history here. Could be, could be a really big for us. The male white sharks and the female white sharks, once they're sexually mature, live in separate areas except for when they come across each other to mate. And then you identify the mating region. Well, we had only tagged big females in the Northwest Atlantic, so when we finally got a tag on George, we knew when his cross path with where our mature females were, we were going to be able to prove and identify the mating area. Enormous leap forward. We needed that male to make sense of all of the tracks of the Mary Lees, the Catherines, the Lydias. 